Hey everybody, it's Sam with Wrestling Overtime with your results show tonight for NXT on April 22nd of 2020. Now remember on your results shows, you only get the quick and easy, down and dirty, nitty gritty uh, results only. Uh, no commentary, no rants, no raves, no anything. Um, started off tonight with Tom Phillips. He was announcing that Finn Balor is missing and has been removed from the main event with Velveteen Dream. A little upsetting. Looking forward to that match, but didn't get it. But anyway, uh, then it went to a Velveteen Dream promo that was interrupted by Adam Cole. But the first match of the night was Shotsky, Blackheart, and Tegan Knox versus Dakota Kai and Raquel uh, Gonzalez. Gonzalez hit a powerbomb on Shotsky for the pin tonight. Uh, then in the start of the cruiserweight title tourney for the interim since Jordan Devlin still cannot uh, get over to the United States because of the travel ban. The first match took place tonight with Jake Atlas versus Drake Ma- Maverick. And Atlas DDT'd Maverick from the top rope to get his win. Then we had another match for the Cruiserweight Tournament and Kushida uh, against Tony Atlas. Um... Kushida, Sakura bod uh, the lock on Ness and got him to submit for uh, the win. Then we found out Killer Cross is not going to be known as Killer Cross. I think we had been wondered that in some of the news and update segments. We found out he'll be carrying Cross. Uh, then we had a Johnny Wrestling, Johnny Gargano uh, promo where he basically thinks that he needs to break down NXT and rebuild it up in his image and he is going to become the NXT champion while Candice becomes the NXT women's champion. Then they did an interview with Drake Maverick where he was questioning himself and basically threw in the towel by throwing it over his head. But anyway, um, then we had our women's match of the night with Mia Yim and Jesse. I think I, I listened to this a couple times. I think her name is per- pronounced. Camilla. Uh, but anyway, Yim hit the STO and then the Protect Your Neck on Jesse Camilla uh, for the win. Then Charlotte Flair ended up coming out and we couldn't really see what was said. Charlotte wants to take on Yim for her first title defense, and they're going to do that next week. Uh, then we had gentleman Jack Gallagher come out, still not used to him with his tattoos, uh, versus, and I, again, I'm going to mispronounce this name, but we're going to try real hard, El uh, Jeho de Fantasma. I have a funny feeling Vince will shorten that to Phantasma. But anyway, uh, Phantasma hit a Samoa driver on Gentleman Jack uh, for the win. I think Vince probably doesn't like his tattoos either. But um, then for the main event, we had Velveteen Dream and Keith Lee as tag team partners against Adam Cole and Roderick Strong. Bobby Fish interfered, got thrown out. While that was going on, Damian Priest comes out of the crowd that wasn't there, but um, drives his nightstick into Keith Lee's throat. Um, he had to be had to 
leave. It then turned into a handicap match. I'm going slow because a lot happened. Uh, it then turned into a handicap match until commercial, and then after commercial, Dexter Loomis became Velveteen Dream's tag partner. Uh, but anyway, it ended up with Velveteen Dream hitting the Purple Rainmaker on Cole and Velveteen Dream celebrating. And that's how tonight ended. Really weird. Um, anyway, I want to thank you guys for taking the time to listen to this results show. I uh, want to encourage you guys to make sure that you sub- subscribe so that you get all the latest episodes of wrestling over time again uh time is running out um they have only agreed until april 30th so we have eight more days uh going to encourage you guys to go to pod chaser and rate or leave a review not only for this episode but for any podcast or any podcast episode that you leave because pod chaser is donating money to uh, Meals on Wheels for the coronavirus pandemic. Um, Of course, after this, you can still rate and review. They just will not be donating uh, money. I uh, want to make sure that that you guys know that you can write me at wrestlingovertime at gmail.com or come join us over on Twitter or on our Facebook page on Wrestling Overtime. And I look forward to talking to you guys soon.